Well, there's my boat behind me. A little bit bored to my bracket this morning. Weather's not too bad. Well, I said this morning, it's nearly lunchtime. So I figured I'd take a walk to Top Lock. I'm gonna go uh, through Rose Bridge, past Ince, um, past the uh, Pilau Cottage, where we used to live as kids. Good old days. Uh, where the Iron Bridge used to be and Rabbit Rocks or the Rockies as we used to call it and then uh, carry on to Kirkland Hall and Top Lock we'll see what happens <coughs> probably nothing but it's something to do eh? it's a breezy day it's cloudy over the sun's trying to come through it's probably going to rain I'm probably going to get wet but it doesn't matter skin's waterproof so let's see how it goes So this is Rosebridge. When we were kids we used to play here. There used to be a big mill on this side. We once stole a bag over there and took it under the bridge. And the cops came. <laughs> they didn't catch any of them. But uh, <laughs> we weren't doing any. We were just being mischievous as kids, you know. This side here used to be in my primary school but they knocked it all down and they built this thing, whatever it is. There was a church and there was a primary school underneath it. But it's all gone now. That's all new buildings. But this is Rose Bridge. Hey, watch on my lens. Good friend of mine lives over there. I think he still lives there. His name's Robin Barrow. Might do a check for him. But uh, as you can see, there's rain getting on the lens. So, I'll do the next clip on uh, PLR Cottage. Hey, Goose. Hey Happy, yeah, I'm sure you are. Alright, man I had lots of fun here as a kid. We all did as kids. Windmill anyone? Looks like a windmill doesn't it? I don't know what that is. But yeah there was a big mill here at one time. When we were kids there was a wall here, this wall here. And climb over the wall and have a look on the canal. And one particular day they were pulling a dead body out over the over this side here. Couldn't really see much but uh, you know, as kids you just it's just chatter, isn't it? Oh look at that, look at that. It was a dead it was a woman apparently. Well like I said, that was a long time ago. When I was in infant school. Well, it's definitely all changed since I was a kid. And I didn't actually come this way. I was here four years ago. Uh, well, I was in England four years ago, but I didn't actually come down to this end of, of the canal. But this used to be our playground. Rose Bridge over there. School used to be over there. My, my, actually my second primary school I was kicked out of my first primary school because I was a bit of a lad and they didn't like me so much this side used to be all fields this is like all fields all the way up to Rose Bridge we had a lot of fun playing in these fields wow it's built up a lot now lots of houses then all Rose Bottom was a Apparently he was quite a wealthy person, he had a lot of land and apparently he owned lots of houses in the interior. Hello. Yeah, this is my playground 50 years ago. We actually learned to swim, well not really. I thought I learned to swim in Wigan Bath, but uh, 
you should practice swimming in this block here. Us kids, we hung out here a lot. Oh, you would be. On the lift, a few meters away from it. Three just now. And that is the room where my brother and my two sisters were born. The whole cottage looks like it's gone through some renovations. Can't quite see it through all the trees and everything, but I know it's there. But Leslie, Deborah, and Wendy were all born in this room. Yeah. I was born in Billings Hospital because I was the first. But all the others were born at home. Let's see if we can get a better picture of it. I just met the guy who's currently living in Peelow Cottage. Seems like a nice blog, but didn't seem to be terribly interested in any of the history. Uh, not serious. Things change. I suppose. For the better, for the worse. But they change, don't they? But still, the memories are still here. In my heart. Of the times and the fun we had. Swimming in this lock here. Peel Hall Lock, Peel Hall Bridge. Used to be all swag heaps and mine shafts and derelict buildings from the Second World War. This one always intrigued us over here. As kids, we always loved swimming and playing in this one here. Because that's the bio wash and then it goes into a pool. And we used to swim in that pool and swallow and wallow around. Ah, oh, good old memories, good old days. Yeah, there used to be slag heaps on that side. Really high ones, so grey hills on that side. And we had alto on this side. They've flattened them all out now, they've built some nice. Oh, it's just overgrown basically. Oh, nice romantic memories of those days, actually. Enticing the girls into the hills for a little bit of slap and tickle, mostly slap. This one's a deep one. What I've noticed on this flight is there's nowhere to tie your boat up. So when I come this way, it's not going to be that easy. I'm going to need some help. So there's nowhere to tie up while you're opening the locks. And look how big this one is. That's quite a deep one. Wow, these gates are old. Now here there used to be an iron bridge. I'll see if I can find a picture of it. Because there was a railway line going right across here. And there was a well, when we were kids, we thought it was big. It was an arched iron bridge, steam trains, that sort of thing. All that's left of it now is that wall or rampart or whatever you want to call it, on that side. And then a lock straight after it. And then there used to be one on this side, but I don't know if it's still here. Hidden away in the tree somewhere. But that's, that's the rabbit rocks. Oh, we used to call it the Rocky Hills. I might take a walk up there. And last time I was here, I was with the kids. Yeah. I suppose it's another reset. There's the remains of another 
Another bridge, I'm assuming it was a railway bridge, but even as kids we don't remember this. That's the one side there going across the canal, and then it comes across to this side here. So, the railway would have gone across there. But look at the stonework. I mean, I mean really. Look at the workmanship that went into that. Yep, modern builders should be absolutely ashamed of themselves when they look at stuff like this. I mean, look at it, every single piece has been tailor-made to fit. You can see the holes there where they've actually had to grab hold of them to lift them into place. Yeah, good old days. It's been a nice walk. It's uh, raining a little bit. I see some tap on my lens there. But I've got to tell you, even though we're in autumn, I'm sweating inside this jacket. Of course, I've been walking uphill. 21, 22, 23 locks. There's 21 locks on the Wigan flight, which I'm uh, almost at the end of. Not very far to top lock now. Coming up to Kirkus Hall. It is open, I might go in for a beer. But we'll see how it is. But it's been nice. There's been lots of changes. Lots of changes. But it's still been nice because I remember it. How it used to be. Don't really want to remember it how it is now. Here's factories and Factories and modern houses, scrap yards. I can see the Wuchi in the distance. Yeah. Had some fun over there when I was a lad on my first motorbike, my second motorbike, and my third motorbike on my Scrambler. Used to have fun over there with the lads. It's all overgrown now, and everybody's into their iPhones and the tablets and crap like that. You don't hear the guys running around on the motorbikes anymore. This is one of my favourite bridges coming up now. Because you can still see the rope burns on the corners from, uh, from the days when the barges full of coal and cotton on the way up to Leeds were pulled by horses. They didn't have engines. We'll have a look at that just now. Warm. 